Welcome to the Appian Tech for Texas training video for the Vendor Sales Report, or VSR, template. This tutorial is intended for vendors that have been awarded a contract with DIR. As part of your contract terms and conditions, a submission of a monthly VSR detailing sales conducted with eligible customers using your contract is required. This video will guide you through how to generate a VSR template for your contract, explain the tabs within the template, and review the instructions for the requested data and describe how to enter compliant data. Reporting a VSR is a contractual obligation and must reflect the order as accurately and completely as possible. The sales to report on your VSR will be determined based on the invoice date. Do not report sales based on when the customer ordered the product or service, date of payment date of shipment or date of service. Sales prior to the reporting period, or past sales, may also be included on your VSR. To begin, log into the Tech for Texas platform, click on the waffle icon and navigate to the vendor sales reporting portal. In the left side menu, click on the contracts link. The contracts listed will be those that your company has a contract with DIR and must submit a VSR for the current reporting period. Click on the contract number and review the contract summary page. Note the users that have been assigned to your contract and update the related users as needed. Navigate to the Sales Report tab. Click on the Download Template link and an Excel file link will be generated specifically for your contract and the current reporting period. Vendors are encouraged to generate a template for each contract at the beginning of each month to ensure that the latest template is being used and the system-generated data is up to date. Click on the generated link to save a copy locally on your computer. Open the Excel file and ensure that editing is enabled if prompted. Note that the file name will reflect your contract number and the reporting period when the template is generated. The tabs on the template include instructions, sales report, contract, customers, resellers, subcontractors, brands, and product types. Please do not add, remove, or modify any of the tabs on the template. The Instructions tab will outline each column to report on the Sales Report tab with instructions on how to provide the data requested. Each line item to report will include three components, the customer on the sale, whether a reseller or a subcontractor was used, and the details of the sales transaction. The Customer section will detail the customer that was sold to and will include the customer's official name as listed on the Customers tab, the contact information for the person associated with the sale, and the customer's billing and shipping address. The Reseller and Subcontractor section will be reported if either a reseller or subcontractor authorized through your DIR contract conducted the sale. A sale cannot utilize both a reseller and a subcontractor. The sales section will include details of the sale and must meet the terms of your DIR contract. The customer purchase reference number or purchase order number for state agencies is a unique value assigned by the customer and outlines the terms and items on the purchase. The customer order date can be found on the customer's purchase agreement. The vendor invoice reference number is a unique value assigned by your company for the sale. The date of invoice will also determine whether the sale is included during the reporting period. The product or service name and description will be entered to describe the purchase as thoroughly as possible. The product brand name will be entered based on brands that have been authorized in your contract and can be found on the Brands tab. The product type and subtype fields will be entered based on the scope of the request for offer, or RFO, that your contract was awarded under, and acceptable values can be found on the product type tab. Based on your contract terms and conditions and pricing index appendix C, Enter either the contract discount percent range or contract discount set price as appropriate for the sales item. The product MSRP or the list price will be entered based on the price of the item at the time of customer inquiry. This field is optional if your contract is awarded under the IT staffing contracts or at SAC, deliverable-based IT services, or telecommunication RFOs. The sales price and quantity will match the purchase agreement and must be a non-negative number. Credits on previously reported sales will not be reported in your VSR using the price, quantity, or extended price column. Credits will be reported directly through the VSR portal and is subject to DAR approval. For more information on the credit process, a video tutorial for credits can be found on DIR's YouTube channel. For ITSAC contracts, enter the data in the ITSAC portal solicitation number assigned by the customer, the ITSAC contractor's first and last name, and the position's title if undefined title was entered in the product subtype field. 
The sales report tab will be used to insert your sales data. Please do not add, remove, or modify any of the column headers on the sales report tab. The contract tab contains a summary of your contract and includes contact information for your DIR contract manager. The Customers tab will include all currently eligible customers in the DIR system. This list does not include all eligible customers for DIR and will change over time depending on new customers or customers that have lost their eligibility status. Use this tab to ensure that you are reporting the correct customer and entering the official customer name. For more information on customers, review the customer video tutorial in this YouTube playlist. The resellers, subcontractors, and Brands tabs will contain data specifically for your contract with DIR. These tabs will populate contract-specific data from the DIR system when the template is generated. The Product Types tab will contain acceptable values of product types and subtypes based on the RFO scope of products and services awarded for your contract. For its SAC companies, this tab will also include the acceptable not to exceed NTE rates based on category, title, and level. Please be sure to view other training videos in this series on the DI, our YouTube channel to learn more about the Appian Tech for Texas platform. You can also contact DIR at techfortexas at dir.texas.gov with any questions. For contract-related questions or discrepancies on the data generated in your VSR template, contact your assigned DIR contract manager.